Hey Prashant. Hi. Hi hey. Ravi. Hey. Uh, yeah. Thanks for taking time out for uh, this video for yeah. work. Thank uh, you so much for giving me an opportunity. Thank you. Uh, audience, uh, so Prashant is uh, heading the technology business incubator for Bits Pilani Campus Hyderabad. So mm -hmm. Prashant, uh, maybe you can start uh, introducing yourself uh, with your experience in your career and then what you like, dislike in life and then you know, let's get started with uh, startups. Well, I'm a small town guy. Uh, I did my masters uh, in bioinformatics. Well, uh, so had some stint in research work. Mm -hmm. I moved into the metabolomics part of it, uh, into uh, the uh, mass spectroscopy and MR approach. After right. that, uh, well, uh, everybody realizes very soon. So mm -hmm. I realized it that uh, not good at research. So, <laughs> so <laughs> taking a, a part again means like uh, had a uh, niche means like I always wanted to be a technocrat okay. in terms of. Uh, um, it's like uh, what all uh, things happen, new innovations happening. So we, during my research days, came across a lot of journals, reading that journals. Mm -hmm. That was exciting, but doing a research, being patiently doing a research was not fit for me. So <laughs> jump, did an intellectual property rights course from uh, IIC Bangalore, such as a certification course. Nice. So that, that made me uh, realize that uh, it would be important, means like my photo, photo or my uh, excitement towards technology mm -hmm. uh, w uh, with that kind of education there uh, that I, I jumped into this technology transfer and management mm -hmm. wherein I had a bit of stint in National Research Development Corporation and things like that and uh, incubation accidentally happened was like uh, I wasn't aware of the technology what incubation is but uh, people started talking about it so past 10 12 years I have been uh, closely related to the startup ecosystem in a various capacity okay so I have been part of proposals wherein policy uh, documents I have made I have screened uh, many startups I mm -hmm. cannot give me a number right away but close to thousand startups I have screened read about it have a uh, very good uh, means like uh, I, I I generally uh, wants to know more about like uh, the startup now at this juncture of life I understand each and everything uh, not not understanding each and everything but uh, what we can say that uh, I have knowledge or okay fine we talk about the latest technology like blockchain mm -hmm. so what application can be what kind of startups can be made or uh, well, you talk about AI ML pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about manufacturing startups, what a SMEs, I have a keen interest in SMEs also because uh, my father being uh, industrialist uh, in his uh, career he struggled a lot in the SME sector. So I have a soft corner towards SME, I want uh, uh, this SME ecosystem in, in the country to grow and uh, moreover my journey as a incubation professional when it started I worked with IIT BHU incubations and Malware Center for Innovation Incubation Entrepreneurship there. Okay. So I have worked with Entrepreneurship Development Institute in Ahmedabad. Mm -hmm. So now I am leading for past three years I have been leading the technology business incubator at Ritz Pilani Hyderabad campus. Great. I mean that, that's uh, <laughs> quite a lot of journey. <laughs> And especially when we talk about Bits Pilani, I mean, like, uh, you know, all the technology and, you know, mechanical students, all the engineering students look up for Bits Pilani. I mean, that, mm -hmm. that's the charm. Well, yes, uh, uh, we got this. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> so, yeah, we got this Institute of Eminence uh, last year. It's like, uh, so we are an institute. At, uh, Bits Pilani is a very, um, the our Pilani campus is a very old campus. Hyderabad campus is a bit newer and the youngest campus. Uh, mm -hmm. So, it started some 12 years back. 30 years back to be precise so we have all the faculties from basic science mm -hmm. the physics department biological sciences mechanical all together we have 12 departments in bits Pilar. so we have a mixed crowd moreover the first year uh, as I understand the academics they have the very uh, similar course to everybody so they have to take each and every course right from biotechnology to biological sciences till the mechanical part to the carpentry part and what else so bits uh, uh, as a whole means like when we, i talk about my incubation center more for more but not into the academics part so incubation uh, generally you see that there are two kind of incubators one is based out in academia so mm -hmm. we can you can call us a academic incubator right 
so <coughs> and there are incubators which are privately hold it also so the best part with the academy incubator is the infrastructure so right. when i i personally when you start a incubation outside academia you'll have whole set of laboratories to be created because incubation is a shared cost mm-hmm. for everything so in terms of if a instrument cost you 10 lakhs so it would be very hard for a, a very tough for a startup guy to buy that right. instrument so we have a facility like that and uh, generally i say that bits milani as a whole is an incubator when they incubate the student mm-hmm. with the idea of getting a engineering degree right. and we are a department there so we take care of their uh, their career women's like a different career, career which in uh, which is in the entrepreneurship field so okay. that's all it's like at an academy as setup so uh, i i realized women's like i have worked in the in all the incubators which were in academy with respect to bits pilani you know a lot of people don't know that you know there is a incubation center i mean as a startup you can actually go and work with uh, an incubator in a college i think that awareness is still not there no, no, uh, I, this, in this, the this culture i, I, I like <laughs> an interrupt on this because we have done lot of events okay so we have reached out to lot many people mm-hmm. and uh, 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 recently i have been contacted by student in uh, nagpur bhubneshwar mm. they have called me they were okay. winners for the smart city hackathons so they have contacted us they want to incubate with us okay. so we have reached out we have created a, we have tried and create some traction mm. for our incubation center we are trying to reach out to these students and we are open not just for our students so as but also can, for outsiders for also for outsiders that's so. that's really welcoming and it's an awesome campus uh, it's what around 20 plus acres and no, no, uh, it's almost 200 acres sorry it's <laughs> around 200 acres 200 and then acres, so um, you know we we have awesome labs and facilities uh, i think people would love to just come and see the facility well when we t- when i talk about our incubation in particular so we have we are we have been given a mandate when we applied for this uh, a tbi so mm-hmm. the, the technology business incubator comes under department of science and technology right. government of india it was funded way back in 2012 so national science and technology mm-hmm. uh, and entrepreneurship development board so nstedb right. is the agency who financed us to mm-hmm. start a incubator at our facility okay. so the area uh, what we started with is iot robotics uh, pharmaceuticals biotechnology uh, uh mems mems mm-hmm. is microelectronics and mechanical systems so okay. everything is place uh, and we have uh, uh, we now we are sector agnostic we are okay. we are, uh, we are open because uh, we uh, we have all 12 departments in our uh, institute so we don't limit ourselves in terms of uh, students coming with an idea with any them I mean, like we had have now incubated a civil guy okay so civil engineering so he's uh, he wants to develop something in terms of the partitions mm-hmm. and an open office space I means generally you see this it companies which the structure comes up it's a huge hall right so the, the guy is uh, trying to develop a technology mm-hmm. which can be used to customize cabins soundproof cabins wow. and that can be done so he is incorporating uh, iot and robotics in that setup and okay. there would be also a user interface so this kind of work so we are now sector agnostic we can say so we are also looking for space technology so okay. recently we have incubated one startup in space technology mm-hmm. so we have a mems clean room so that is for class 100 and class okay. 1000 so that is a unique facility so we can give access to startups mm-hmm. uh, startups get access to the clean room uh, okay. so that's all means like and yeah. subsequent questions i'll like an answer <laughs> in more detail basically it would be more subjective if i talked so much <laughs> so what you're saying is bits is welcoming any startup to come you know and incubate with uh, their particular campus and you know they'll have a uh, bouquet of uh, laboratories which well, are anybody available. will want like that <laughs> yeah. it's it's not like just bits any campus would like to have more and more startups well right. the mission is all set where earlier uh, people have, were uh, just having an engineering degree working for it company or xyz company 
now there is another scope coming up as entrepreneurship and mm. it has a huge potential you not just uh, uh, engage yourself but you have 10 m- other members who follow you and right. so you become a uh, employer than an employee mm-hmm. so there is a bit of satisfaction i see on faces who have really done well in life uh, so take any examples for that so there are many to take Okay. so that kind of satisfaction is always there and there has been a mission it means like 2016 uh, there was a startup in stand up india 16 january to be precise mm-hmm. so 16 january 2016 our prime minister uh, talked about the startup in stand up india so the okay. genesis from there if we see so there is a, always a mission of startups or what how many startups we can create mm-hmm. how uh, how how big this ecosystem can grow how much employability it can bring how much funds it can bring it is, it can it would be one sector which would affect the economic growth of the country it would be one of the parameters wherein the economics of the country would be judged okay, how many kind of startups are there so people uh, means like many of our leaders and thought leaders uh, feel that the startup ecosystem should grow great mm-hmm. so now uh, you know you have a lot of uh, support uh, do you want to talk about the state initiatives and national initiatives well, uh, for this particular industry now yeah incubation is dependent uh, means like we'll say uh, 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 when we talk about the sustenance model of an incubator incubator we can talk about it as a business also mm-hmm. when the i say my incubator is we should have a sustainable model so the, the startup ecosystem should also be sustainable right. as soon uh, the startup is ecosystem sustains incubator will also sustain so currently there are a lot of incentives mm-hmm. from state government also we have ten- uh, telangana state we are based in telangana we are a, a bits plan hyderabad campus so telangana has its uh, telangana state innovation council telangana has t hub right telangana has we hub the mm-hmm. women entrepreneurship hub so there are a lot of incentives from uh, by the government and uh, the leaders here are leading this path we have they have uh, given us we they, they they are very approachable first of all and uh, moreover uh, the leaders uh, and uh, and all the uh, thought leaders in telangana and telangana has grown means like uh, means like uh, we if we see as a it hub mm. telangana has grown up quite a bit we can talk about any sector means like uh, when we talk about the clustering here so mm-hmm. telangana is one of the good clusters telangana has a uh, is very near to the ports mm-hmm. 3 400 kilometers uh, there is port uh, with telangana uh, we talk about the clusters we have a aerospace cluster here pharmaceuticals is was something uh, which uh, has immensely grown right. it cluster is there big mm-hmm. companies like google Microsoft is opening a office. Uh, it has a office here. They are expanding with Amazon. Has a uh, they have been expanding. Your facility here. Yeah. Uh, in mobile, uh, we talk about OnePlus. Mm-hmm. They are opening a R&D facility here. So this all gives an opportunity. When uh, when I talk about the startup ecosystem, so startups we talk about as a business. So it's not just like a startup comes uh, w- uh, with a problem. They work on a problem statement and uh, uh, they develop a business idea and go through. But when we talk about the Telangana ecosystem on the whole, when mm-hmm. terms of corporates and all, so when a corporate and uh, when this kind of setup is already existing in Telangana, so startup has a edge mm-hmm. when wherein this corporates also wants. to take leverage of the startup ecosystem and startup wants to take a leverage of the corporate, corporate ecos- right. ecosystem so it's a symbiotic relations so when we talk about hyderabad mm-hmm. so hyderabad has that uh, symbiotic relation which has been developing great so what what uh, do you suggest you know somebody has got an idea do you think that it is worth exploring you know uh, starting up uh, with some solving one of the you know mm-hmm. problem statements well it's always What worth the journey you know of a startup so being a problem solver has uh, been uh, right from ages means like if you are a problem solver you will be looked up to right so <laughs> now we can give them a terminology in a technical terms that startups so startups uh, means like they knowing a problem so see i am a incubation professional i'll always endorse a startup <laughs> 
so i'll be biased in uh, telling that why you should go for uh, employee a uh, 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 tag or a uh, employer tag so i'll be biased on that but uh, i i believe that uh, people should uh, uh, means like uh, give, give a thought a serious thought on uh, how good they can because it's it, it it's a holistic view when you talk about startup it's not just about the money mm-hmm. the glory right. the employability but it has a lot of social impact also we are trying to solve a lot of problems which exists in society but uh, but on the whole uh, definition of innovation when the people might not know this problem exist okay okay so you need it as a push and pull method you can say it's a push you have to push that oh, okay fine you had this problem and we have a solution for it there have been a uh, few problem statement government of india telangana government have done lot of hackathons wherein they have given a problem statement like when we talk about the water right conservation climate change Mm. so these kind of problems statement exist there is a huge scope for startup social entrepreneurs to come into picture so right. so it's it's a holistic means like you talk about any sector and i can give you 10 reasons why startup should yeah be. so it's just not technology there are a lot of opportunities uh, and social causes where these startups can work well right. see uh, now i cannot say that it's not technology everything is technology driven okay okay you can term it as a, your startup as a machine learning startup mm-hmm. you can term it as a social startup in the okay. terminology it will depend on the mandate of what company wants what the startup wants okay and so that's there okay and uh, what are your thoughts on you know a, star- <coughs> a person who is saying that sir i want to start up you know do you have an idea yeah. versus a guy who wants to really uh, who has a passion who has got an idea and wants to scale it up as a startup so what do you suggest for people who have no idea but wants to start something well uh, see passion uh, dreaming uh, these all word doesn't work out in the startup ecosystem everybody has a passion no i i have never seen a person who doesn't have a passion uh, okay. so there is very few in number actually very few in number so uh, well uh, we'll uh, take two groups of people one who knows what the problem is Mm-hmm. and uh, he works on a startup idea goes ahead and makes it a successful startup fine the other set of people which you, you, your major question is that who doesn't have an idea but have passion right. so for them uh, see as a incubator we we ha- we have been facilitating things okay. we 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 have a role of facilitator we are not the real uh, warrior in the startup uh, domain <laughs> you, you just facilitate Uh, things so we give infrastructure we try and connect them with mentor we try and connect them with venture capital mm-hmm. we try and create some seed fund or something of that sort so these are the facilitation facilitation role we play so there is one uh, 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 means uh, activity which should be taken care, care, taken by all the incubators in the country and the world is okay. technology transfer Okay. Uh, a guy can come to me he says that uh, i have some funds with me the mm-hmm. tuna fund can be anything it can be a billion dollar it can be 50000 rupees right. right so so we will not talk on the tuna fund but uh, uh, if my incubator is armed with a technology transfer and a patent management thing so well we would like to target them and moreover okay. uh, the uh, target audience mm-hmm. what we have been targeting we have to change a bit okay it's not just the students who become entrepreneurs there are many other people who can become a very good entrepreneur yeah i've seen some entrepreneurs become entrepreneurs at the age of 40 50 yes, and then yes, trying yes. to yes yes the things. age age is age is never a concern right. so age 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 factor is never there uh, but uh, uh, we we uh, i generally feel I means like uh, with uh, with my experience that uh, a technology transfer uh, Uh, should be a uh, a uh, very uh, uh, means like we should facilitate this process uh, wherein people have passions mm-hmm. and uh, they want to invest right now talking about uh, in we've uh, spoken about uh, the facilitation uh, facilitation which we are doing and uh, you know how we can support the startup you know achieve the aim uh, can we talk about uh, venture capitalist or you know how do we uh, enable funding and what are the basic things a startup should uh, have before they start seeking for funding so 
Yeah, well, they should I... have a nice product actually. Okay. <laughs> so they should first concentrate on the product mm-hmm. and the problem statement, the, what they are addressing to. Uh, unless you do have a good product, no, no, nobody is going to fund you. Okay. Okay. A venture capitalist or anybody, they are they are they are not there to realize your dreams actually. They need profits. They need uh, at least a 10x return. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are failures. A lot of uh, companies uh, which were funded very hugely have failed. They okay. have come to a dormant stage. Now they are again. Few companies are trying to start again. Mm-hmm. But uh, this is uh, this scenario will never change in terms of the people who wants to fund. They are putting their money hard earned money in your startup. So they need profits. They are not here to realize your dream. It's like you are dreaming. That somebody is dreaming that I'll become an entrepreneur next day. So that's it. so you should have a very good product. That's right. Uh, I generally tell my startups you first have a good product, mm-hmm. then you talk about funding and opportunities like that. Not before that. Yeah. How important is coaching and mentoring uh, founder of or the founders of the startup is? Because uh, I, you know, uh, personally feel that they get stuck with operations <laughs> running. You know, uh, <laughs> designing the product that they don't. Uh, they forget that they have to wear multiple hats mm-hmm. uh, of you know uh, founder of the company and HR, mm-hmm. a marketing guy, you know a sales guy, mm-hmm. you know uh, you know all these platforms. They have to wear multiple hats. So how how important is coaching and mentoring for? Uh, uh, See, one founders? thing is one thing is sure. It's like uh, this uh, uh, startup uh, entrepreneur are multidisciplinary. You should know everything. Actually, right. <laughs> so that's always there. You have to learn. But uh, it, it depends upon the time. Actually, the shelf life of technology has decreased a lot. Mm. So right. I cannot be a founder learning the whole HR mechanism, and I I, I lost track with the product I'm making. Okay. Agree, so th- yes. in that case scenario, you should need a mentor. Instead of self learning yourself everything, you should always form a team. The first set of team becomes your friends, mm. family. The second set of team is the mentors, coaches, coaches and all. So who come and tell you, ki, okay, fine, how easily you can walk through this problem which you have you have been facing. It's not like uh, you have to self learn everything. You have to master everything in startup. You should means like uh, there has been people who know that uh, this idea will work. A machine learning startup, so uh, this can be uh, th- this would be a very huge uh, huge value proposition. This can create. But uh, when I talk to that startup, uh, do you know uh, how to write algorithms and all? Well, I am not expert into it, and I am forming a team. So that's a good sign of a startup. Actually, you don't have l- l- all the l- uh, time in the world to d- do everything on your own. So you have to form a team. So forming a team, a formal team is always there. Uh, a informal team comes as a mentor, mm-hmm. and sometimes mentors uh, are so engrossed with your startup they become a team member. They will become your venture capital. They will become your friend, philosopher, and guide. So you can right. never neglect that. It's very important to have mentors in the yeah. such scenarios. Especially, I've seen a um, lot of startups, uh, you know, founders basically getting into depression because things are not working out, and you know, they, they see depression they doesn't have a solution actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you cannot like it's a mental problem. You have to consult a psychiatrist for that. We, we, we going into depression is something that uh, you're not doing things right. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're not taking uh, life uh, very coolly. Okay. You have to take it very cool. You you you, you shouldn't be emotional for everything. So I, I see a business uh, not as an emotion. Mm-hmm. I see as a passion. So okay. that differentiation should be there. A depression word in startup uh, doesn't okay. have any. You are depressed. You are happy. You are sad. Nobody cares about it. It's mm-hmm. only thing is that uh, what problem statement you have taken, what how you are going ahead. Mm-hmm. You have developed a good product. There will be lot of people to make you happy. <laughs> if, if you you have not done anything, uh, a bad business idea will never work out. So it's True. it's all a self goal you have to create. You have to be happy. You have to be emotional. So it's a human tendency. So you have to judge yourself before joining a startup. It's really? nobody else it's can judge you. Get, it's, uh, get yourself evaluated. Uh, before yeah, you evaluate self. You evaluate yourself. 
Right. So if you are a depressing guy, don't come. <laughs> <laughs> so just on a lighter note, if you don't depress you, you, your team, and anybody who is attached to you, uh, keep your depression up to you, and please don't come into the startup. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get depressed because it's taking off in India. So we want okay. to grow well. Everybody wants to grow, and okay. India also wants to grow in this field. And uh, the target of fifty thousand creating a fifty thousand startup. Uh, it's achievable we have a huge population of uh, 130 cr of people residing in india 15000 is just come this is huge we, scope uh, we 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 uh, we have a self goal to create more and more startup so that's my bread and butter <laughs> how how prashant how, how uh, many years should a startup uh, dedicate themselves to ensure that they are getting into our way the common perception in the market is like okay i do something i you know uh, you know do a startup and then in couple of months it should be profitable so okay, what are the number of years uh, you know they need to at least persistently you know maintain that uh, persistence and you know put all the efforts to make it happen see personally i will tell ki i have a screen lot of startups actually mm-hmm. uh, but uh, my idea of screening is a bit different everybody has his perception in terms of uh, how to screen that idea somebody will go and see that market it's a trillion dollar market i don't go with jargon and all means like okay. i generally see what is the product mm-hmm. what is the problem statement it really exists i i i see round the table means like i become a customer to that i i judge that on that perspective okay, okay fine he is creating it would be helpful for me or not so okay. as a as a incubator guy i generally do that mm-hmm. but i don't go into the market and the roi is of that because if there is a good product roi i will happen but uh, again the uh, to answer the question means like how many time should be dedicated uh, it's actually uh, you never know means like mm-hmm. but uh, but being cash positive or the roi means uh, means like generally uh, well i i don't want to sound controversial <laughs> on that <laughs> but uh, generally uh, you should take some time to means like it shouldn't be within 6 months mm-hmm, because right. uh, any any uh, venture capital uh, or any anybody for that uh, investor would need more and more stake in your company if your product is good and if you become cash positive within 6 months they lose track on that <laughs> so mm-hmm. if we uh, generally yeah, I'm, i'm not controversial i'm just just a thought on that Yeah, it's uh, like uh, uh, that. Like that's your opinion on this. It's, it's just thing. just an opinion which I have formed uh, during my uh, have experience have, and uh, what you've come across. Yeah, I have come across. Uh, I, if I am an investor and uh, if Ravi has a startup idea and uh, first funding, first round of funding, he gave me five percent. And after five percent, if he is gas positive, he will not give me the other five percent I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I I don't want to sound more controversial. We we can go to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, now we have spoken about startups and you know how what is the journey and all that. So, you know, with respect to uh, startups and the founders, you know, how should be their work life uh, balance? You know, if you are talking about uh, that. concept i know all of them come with passion and let's assume that they are driving it passionately uh, do you still feel that they should give some time for their life apart from the work which See, they are ravi doing? can i request you to remove this passion word uh, okay yeah well, <laughs> they should be diligent actually mm-hmm. okay. diligent with their work passion uh, i can have passion for many things i can have a passion for swimming i can have passion for many other things diligence is something uh, we can talk about the, okay. the startup should be diligent actually mm-hmm. passion will create depression diligent will create a good product okay so i agree miss passion is always there <laughs> so uh but diligent uh, they should have uh, work life balance uh, startup uh, generally they work uh, long hours right you you see that <laughs> so they don't have as i see the technology shelf life has decreased actually mm-hmm. so you don't have all the time in the world so how quick you can find a good product good solution to the problem statement is something uh, which will yield because you see uh, uh, just take a scenario means like we are 130 cr of people is not just you have only thought of this problem statement it can be rare means like in sometimes uh, but and it's not just a startup in india you're talking the whole world so it. because it's a globalized world now 
right. i cannot just think in a cocoon that i am sitting in telangana and i'll do a startup here for telangana people and then move on it's globalized you should right. have customer in every part of country world everywhere so the scenario is always there and the uh, work life balance you have to balance yourself you should have time for everybody Okay. Uh, don't get depressed on that. <laughs> it's not like your father and mother is depressed that hey, he doesn't give time to me, or wife doesn't. Uh, but but there should be. I, mean, I see generally people uh, working late hours mm-hmm. and uh, they have their idea, and uh, that's fine. It's like it's it's it 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 is like that. It's like I, I have no comments to make on that. I mean, it is it's up to you how you balance your work. I am an incubation professional. I have to balance my work. We are sitting here giving a a talk. I mean, <laughs> like just uh, you are interviewing me. So that is also a balance That's between my work. You have to take time out for each. Every everything. everything has a time. I mean, like when it has to be done. So that kind of social uh, aspect of a startup, they mm. have to think about it. Don't get engrossed too much. And uh, engrossing is, uh, but it, they should be diligent actually. Right. Yeah, you have thought of. You have to work. You have to read about it. You have mm. to talk to people. You have to network with people. Yeah. So that's there. You have to have a good product. Mm. And that's the how, end. How how important is fitness of a founder so that his uh, he startup be is fit. mentally right. and physically everybody has to be fit. <laughs> right. He has to be fit. Right. Like so do you think that they are taking time out now for fitness? Uh, Some of these founders are there, so. Well, I have never you know. asked these questions to founders. <laughs> yeah, you are, are you are gymming or not? <laughs> you are gymming or not? I don't know. It's like they have to take their. They have to. They, you should have good food. Good. If you have a good mental health and physical health, you will always be do better in life. That's so they should be fit. Yeah. Well, I'll ask somebody that if you. <laughs> yeah, I think we should do a survey on you. <laughs> you know, do a marathon done, daily. <laughs> <laughs> Something of that sort. We should do that. I mean, like uh, they should be. As an incubation, we should take care of this. Let's yeah. let. Uh, sometimes we'll try and do for this. Uh, we will have a meditation session and things like yeah. that. That that would be useful actually. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, so thanks a lot. I, mean, I think we've touched a lot uh, on startups and this thing, and we should do another session in detail and you know answer some of the and questions which might. Uh, Thank you for the opportunity. For, <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot for Prashant doing this, and mm. uh, we're glad you're here, and uh, we would like to hear more about uh, how uh, you can mentor and. Uh, you know bits as a facility can uh, you know enable uh, startups in this particular well i am open to mentoring any of the startup in terms of the incubation if they need some advice mm-hmm. from my side in my capacity whatever i can do i'll do because startup is my bread and butter okay. the more number of startups the more glory you get in the incubation <laughs> space so i'm open to that Yeah. Any, yeah. Anything you want to pass on the message for the young startups? Uh, any message you want to give it on the video so that uh, they stick to it? Well, start up all the best. Do well in life. Uh, means like uh, it's kind of you have n number of problems revolving around you. Find a problem, create a good solution. It will give you satisfaction. Okay. Great. So, thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Prashant. Have thank a great you. day.